I want to be a performer of some sort because number one, it doesn't really require that much of a college education that I know of. Like an actor, I'd be fine to be an actor. I could, the problem with being an actor is I might have to play straight roles, which means like I'd have to kiss a girl, so I don't know. I'm Daniel Chasso, I'm 16, and I live in Manhattan. If there's nothing wrong with reading, twi oh, reading Twilight, then I will read Twilight. Because I love these books, and they're so easy to read. When you just like want to read something and you don't want to like think, you can just read Twilight. Well, I think I'm a fairly normal teenager. I wake up, I, I go to school. I don't get great grades. They're not terrible. I should work, I could work a little harder. Extracurriculars, I play the piano, I, I like taking pictures. I have like one of those, you know, big artsy cameras, but I have, yeah. Yeah, but I haven't done it in a long time, so I should really definitely get back to that because it's fun. I like, re I really like taking pictures of flowers. Wow, that's really gay. So I, I think it's, it's, it's per each person. There's so many misconceptions. I could go into every single one of them and burn through way more than my allotted time. I hate the whole, they all want to be women. It's not true. But just because I do, I mean, everybody does. Mm -hmm. I don't speak for the entire gay population, though that would be pretty nice. I feel like I wasn't born gay. I don't, I feel like there's some people who just, who just, they come out and they're, they like are born and they're immediately like a lesbian or a gay man. But I, I think the main thing was I was raised away from like sports and competitiveness and I never hung out with, I never was, I never had play dates with other little boys. I was always with the other little girls and I wasn't, I was never played sports as a little boy. I was, I was that kid who sat at home playing cello all day. And you know that there are guys who don't play sports, who play classical instruments, who are straight. So I don't know, maybe it's a combination of both. I've always been a very sensitive person, which guys are actually sensitive. They're just not so obvious about it. I don't mind crying in public. Who doesn't want cookie dough? But yeah, in ninth grade, there was a, I might've talked about it already, but there was this kid who will remain nameless, who just, who just could not come to terms with what I was and would just like, he wouldn't leave me alone. He just made it his personal mission to torment me as much as he could without stopping. He threatened violence against me numerous times. Oh my God, let me tell you, like, I used to sit next to him in math class, even though I could have moved. I don't know why I didn't. But like, he always used to turn to me and he used to say to me, so how would you feel if I stabbed you with a pencil right now? And I would be, well, obviously not very happy. And then he would just, he, and he would tell me how I was ugly and how no girl would ever want to get with me. Like, that's a problem. And like, I don't know, it was just, it wasn't pleasant. There was another experience. This one hurt. In a strange way, this one hurt a lot more because it was someone I thought was my really close friend. But this person just started calling me these really bad names this one day and then he like started screaming it at me. Not screaming, but like he would say it and he would look me right in the eye and he has these like, like shocking eyes and it was just really upsetting because he kept saying it and saying it and then, oh, you're calling me a faggot right now. That's fine, I'm gonna call you an offensive word. Though I actually don't use like offensive words because I'm not gonna be one of those people. You know faggot originally meant a bundle of sticks? I don't know how it's progressed to an offensive word for a homosexual. It's been used for me as an insult so many times. Just a terrible word that people shouldn't use. It's not necessary. You can, you can, you can insult me in many better ways than calling me a faggot. Yes, I would love to get married. I don't know, it's not, it's not gonna happen. I mean, I'm lucky enough to have had a few people like me. I mean, I'd take being a girl any day. That's a manliness. Manliness. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. I'm on the lead to dream of the day when you wake up and find the watch.
I feel sometimes like I'm in the body of a woman and I should be dating more manly men. A lot easier to relate to girls than it is to boys. There's a lot of societal fears of two men being together, so it's, it's not easy. It's hard to like someone who doesn't like you back. And you learn, I'm saying this to all the people who are coming out right now, you learn it's not smart to like people who won't like you back. Sure, you can look at them and be like, oh damn, hot. But you can't like them. You can't turn a straight man gay. I just remember it was this, this other gay guy that I sort of looked up to as a role model when he got this question that said, well, I'm the, I'm the closeted homosexual son of a military man who's very homophobic. And it just really, it sort of moved me because like this guy has it way worse than I do. And his parents, if they were to find out about him, they would never love him or accept him. That's just terrible. So when I, when I look at things like that and I put my own self in perspective where I have my father, my father discussing the attractiveness of men with me, it's just like, it's a lot easier for me because I'm so loved by my family. And I really think my family has really helped me to be the confident person that I am. So right now I'd say I'm living the teenage dream of a gay. And I have a lot of friends, at least I flatter myself, I have a lot of friends. I'm sort of happy and I think this guy, I can't say I like him because we've only met once and how awkward would that be? I bet you once, I have a crush on you. But he's, he's cool. He's really, he's really funny like me and he's a singer. So like maybe we can perform hot duets together. I mean, there's not nobody here. <laughs> Teenager dumb is not, for, is not your whole life. And I hope to um, go to college, just live a normal life, go to college, maybe Maybe even get married, have a, adopt a kid or something. I would be lying if I said I had big dreams because I don't really know what I want to do with my life. I'm still busy getting adjusted to my life, to accepting myself, which has been a journey. It's been a long journey. Of, it's been a long road to acceptance for myself, of me.